Hello and welcome to another episode of Pokemon Go. Uh, so today, I'm not really sure what the plans are. I'm probably just gonna wander a little bit around Wellington. Uh, gonna be trying to hatch some eggs. I do have quite a few in incubators. Uh, gonna be checking out some of the new like Christmas slash New Year's updates. Uh, I have seen where you do get the incubators from the first Pokestop that you spin each day, which is a really cool thing, especially considering the whole new Gen 2 Pokemon only come from eggs. So this is a great way, especially to save money. Uh, if you're not spending money on Pokemon Go, then this is definitely a great way to go ahead and get incubators. Uh, we're also going to go ahead and check out a couple other different little Christmas updates that they've given. Uh, and yeah, hopefully we'll get some new Pokemon. Or, uh, actually, that's always the goal is to get new Pokemon. And that's the goal for today as well. So I'll update you as uh, we get more into Wellington and out of the car. Alright, so we have a massive spawn here in the Publix parking lot. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to let Grandma catch oh. some Pokemon. So, th this might not be pretty. But, we're gonna let her do it. Here you go, Right Grandma. now? Here you go. She's, she's gonna go for it. Just regular, po just regular Pokeballs. And you gotta aim higher, Grandma. It's up in the air. Oh, that was closer. I don't... I I'm gonna run out of all the Pokeballs. Here. <laughs> there! Oh. Oh. Oh boy. One, two, three, and that's how a grandma catches a Pokemon. <laughs> yeah, it might be done a little slower, but not, it gets done. Not too bad. Yeah, not it, a nice, pretty nice coffin there. You're gonna put it back though. Um, alright, you, you wanna try- Was that coffin when I caught that coffin? I think you were. Okay. I think you were coughing when you kept Which caught one? the coughing. Um, Alright. Let's go for the little weedle. Sure. A throwback. It's not a throwback. It is. Oh. The weedle is being feisty now. Oh boy. One. Two. Three. Hey, Grandma's catching the Pokemon right now. All right, that's two for two. All right, let's go for a Pidgey. Oh, I don't like them. Why don't you like them? Because I don't <coughs> ever catch them. <coughs> oh, oh, oh. <coughs> uh oh. He's gonna get out there. One, two, three. What's up? <laughs> Wowie. There we go, little, little Pidgey. Another Pidgey. This one's a little stronger at 105, a little stronger than the 34 that you just caught. There's one, two. Oh, that was three. Oh, never mind. There we go. There's another Pidgey. Grandma's Grandma's on a roll. Grandma is on a roll. All right, let's go for the Rattata. 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 Oh, he's mean too. Rattata isn't mean. It's purple and fluffy. It just has the big teeth. Got it. The big teeth. Oh, look at you. Look at you on a roll. He's catching all the Pokemon. All right, I actually don't want a Parasite. So we're just gonna chill there. Really? Yeah, we don't want okay. that. Why? Because I have like three of them, and I don't need a. Your phone just buzzed. Does that mean anything? That means another Pokemon just spawned in. Oh. It's another Rattata. Ooh, 230. A little stronger than the previous ones you've caught. Oh, he jumped. Oh, no, no. Um. Okay, Grandma. Oh boy. One. 
two. Oh, it's being feisty. Uh huh. Oh, you, you missed. You got it. What's it gonna do? One. Oh, oh you bugger. Out after one. Okay. One, two, three. Hey! Grandma's catching the Pokemon. <laughs> All right. So, Grandma caught some Pokemon. It's gonna be a pretty good day when Grandma catches like seven Pokemon, <laughs> at least. I think that was at least seven Pokemon. So, definitely looking for good things today. Mm -hmm. Definitely. All right, so we have indeed left the Grandma back at the house and uh, we're now off on another adventure. Uh, yeah, you know, I heard Assassin's Creed is finally out. I really wasn't paying attention to the date of its release. Um, sorry, a car is randomly like that car was just in the, like the grass in front of me for no apparent reason. So I got a little distracted. But in other news, we are going to go ahead and go see Assassin's Creed. Because uh, I did play a lot of the games, uh, especially in college. I played not Assassin's Creed, the first one, uh, with like uh, the original Assassin's Creed, but I played Assassin's Creed 2, 3, 4, um, Black Flag, and I think I also have like one of the newer ones where it's like the Assassin's Creed, where it's like uh, the guy starts out as an assassin and turns into like an assassin hunter something like that I haven't really progressed much in the gameplay aspect of it because then I found Skyrim because of my like my best friend it was like you gotta play Skyrim and so I started playing Skyrim uh, and it, it it took up so much of my time playing video games before Pokemon Go came out um, <clears throat> so definitely very excited to be seeing Assassin's Creed but for Pokemon Go, I just got like, a very high CP Caterpie. Um, yeah, you know, when you catch like a new like higher CP like Pokemon of like one of the commons, I find that to be very interesting. Like right now, I have a Rattata that just came in off of an Incense, and it's only like 211. But because it's an Incense Rattata, like I feel like you have to catch it. Um, so. Uh, Yes, Christmas updates. That is what I was. That's what I said in the beginning of the ep episode. Uh, is that we're going to be exploring some of the Christmas updates that are out currently. So, of course, we do have. Uh, first of all, the when you spin the Poke Stop, the first Poke Stop of the day. Uh, in addition to your regular like day by day bonus streak that you get, you will now also get a single one time use. Um, egg incubator which as I said before is great when you're not spending money uh, to be able to go ahead and stock up on Pokemon egg incubators like that is an amazing thing and I think Niantic did a really good job with that but then besides that let me go ahead and turn over to the screen excuse me excuse me ah where'd it go all right so first off what am I doing first off I keep doing it I just, on instinct. Alright, right there. The shop button is now a little like Christmas present looking thing. And when you click it, the first thing you see right off the bat are three little gift boxes. So the first one is a special box and it's 250 poker coins. In it, you get 10 great balls and two egg incubators, which is really great. Uh, because you were able to get great balls in the shop before and egg incubators were 150 each so you're already saving like 50 coins right there and uh, I actually have 220 coins so if I like take down three gems I can get myself one of those it's pretty cool then there's the great box which 
has great balls in it, two incenses, and four egg incubators, which is pretty cool. Uh, so, like, I don't really, I actually despise incense because I've never, not once, until right now, because karma. Uh, I've never, until this, like, holiday Pikachu, I've never gotten good incenses, good incense spawns, and, like, even this Pikachu isn't, like, a great one, because, like, you can find them everywhere right now, but, like, that's my egg ins egg incense. Pokemon incense luck is just to get the really common stuff. All I ever get are Pidgeys and Rattatas. Like, the game really dislikes me for some reason when it comes to incense. Like, I've seen, like, Lachlan or Allier just get, like, ridiculous incense spawns. I get common stuff. Like, this Pikachu is pretty great, but that's just because it's Pikachu. Any other common Pokemon, I would not be hyped about. So, there we go. We do have another Holiday Pikachu. Not a great CP. But pretty good otherwise. And then in the final box, you are able to get the Ultra Box. Inside the Ultra Box, you're able to get 20 Ultra Balls, which is honestly right there, pretty much a win. And then 6 Egg Incubators and 25 Incense. And that's 1,500 Pokemon Points. So what is that? What is 1,500 Poke coins, basically you gotta spend 20 bucks to get that. Or 10 bucks and conquer like a lot of gyms. So you do have that option now. But go ahead and spending 20 bucks and you get all that stuff. Whereas before the holiday special, if you wanted to get like 25 incenses, that would have been, I'm guessing like a lot more than just 20 bucks. Because each like egg. Each incense is like, I want to say like 200 or something like that. Uh, and then egg incubators are 150 each, and you're getting like six of them. So that's pretty good, um, especially with Gen 2 Pokemon all being in eggs at, at the moment. I'm right by a creek, so I'm getting like water Pokemon spawning in. It's just a Psyduck. Um, but yeah, I think it's definitely a great idea for. Niantic, you know, yes, they are still profiting off of this, which, I mean, they're a business, they're trying to profit, I understand. Um, but it's definitely a great thing that they actually are kind of tying in their different updates together. Uh, well, with the Gen 2 Pokemon all being eggs, um, and them having the free stuff, like the one incubator uh, being a free thing, or getting, like, incubators on, like, sale via the gift boxes. I think that that's a pretty cool thing for Niantic to do, even though they're definitely still making big money off of this. Uh, so yeah, right now I am going to uh, Assassin's Creed. I will give a spoiler-free update later, or spoiler-free review, I guess. Um, trying to make sure I can cross the street safely, because you know, looking both ways very important. Uh, but yeah, I will update you when I get to the movies, or if I get a brand new Pokemon. Alright, so I'm here at the movie theater. I am, however, about an hour early for my movies, but I do have, if I timed it correctly, eight eggs to hatch. If not, it's six eggs. So out of the 5k eggs, we're definitely just looking for new Pokemon, but it's drowsy. So it's not, you know, great. Uh, I have almost enough for three Hypno Evolutions. <laughs> that scared me for a second. All right, next egg. I mean, they're 5k eggs, so there's a lot of different Pokemon that can come out of these. Um, Oddish is okay, because we are looking for, okay, 2k egg, so that's nice. Kind of random, but uh, it's just a Caterpie. So nothing really great so far, but I think that does prove that they are timed up pretty well. <clears throat> 
Okay, my chop, that's actually a really needed one because I still don't have my champ. 63, so so pretty far off from the full chain evolution. And, uh, yeah. Nidoran, so I am building towards the second Nido King uh, with better IVs. So pretty far off from that. And uh, people are starting to show up for some of the other movies that are uh, at 7 o'clock. Another drowsy. I don't think I've ever had that. Two drowsies back. But, uh, you know, honestly, just looking for Togepi at this point. Nidoran female. Uh, I still don't think I have Nido Queen. I don't, but I now have the candies for it. And enough to power it up, too. So that's going to be pretty good. I might do that at the end of this episode. To be honest, I've lost count of eggs. So I think this might be the last one or not. Goldeen, definitely not something that I'm looking for. At. Wow, 200 Goldeen candies at this point. All right, so that's the end of the eggs, I'm pretty sure. Yeah, so that's the end of the eggs. I still have like almost an hour to kill until my movie. So I'll probably just kind of wander around, maybe grab a bite to eat. Uh, now, maybe. All right, a new 5K egg. So that's gonna be pretty cool. But I'll update you uh, probably after the movie with a small uh, spoiler-free review, and then maybe a Needle Queen evolution at the end. All right, so I'm actually on my way home now. Um, I still plan on doing the Assassin's Creed <coughs> Assassin's Creed review when I get home. But I had to get this on camera. It is a wild Flareon of all things. Like, I have no idea where this guy came from. Yo. But I've never seen a wild evolution. Uh, I actually had to like run through some sprinklers to get it. But this is absolutely ridiculous. I. I have no idea where this came from, but it's a wild what It's being very hard to catch, too. So, this, I mean, I have better Flareons than this one, but just to be able to, like, find this guy, that was terrible. To be able to find this guy out in the wild was, is definitely a, a very cool thing. I don't know where all this traffic is, like, coming from. It's 10 o'clock at night, people should be, like, home. Unless they're all coming from the movies. But they're not, they're going, like, towards the movies, so I can't even give them that. One, two, I think that was... Ah! This guy's being really difficult to capture, to be honest. Like, this is not an easy, easy thing. I mean, generally, Eevees, I feel like, are either really super easy or terrible. This guy is being terrible. Now, I had saved up Ultra Balls before this. And I was expecting to use them on, like, wild new Pokemon. Uh, this is a new wild Pokemon, but... Yo, don't, don't glitch. Don't, don't glitch. Don't glitch. Okay. I feel like that's like a sign that I need to catch this. All right, so great raspberry ultra ball throw. One, two, three. There we go. That is a new wild catch, but not a new Pokemon. Not a great move set. Not even a great CP, but wow. Yeah, it was way back there. And uh, yeah, now it's just Pidgeys. But definitely stay tuned for uh, when I get back home, Assassin's Creed review. Alright, so I am now back at home. Um, as far as Pokemon go, uh, let's see. Got some the Flareon, which is pretty great. And besides that, I also got a actually my strongest Pidgeot right now. At 1392 Wild Capture, pretty great. I mean, it's a Pidgeot, so it's like, eh, but my strongest Pidgeot. Um, and then, you know, the eggs were, eh, 
yeah, I do need the mod chop, and the neater ants are always great to have. Um, it's actually really late right now. Uh, it's like midnight as I'm doing this. Uh, so I'm actually gonna save the Nidoran uh, female evolution probably for tomorrow's episode. Um, but Assassin's Creed. Going into it, I really wasn't sure what to expect. Um, like I said before, I have played Assassin's Creed 2, 3, 4, um, Black Flag, and actually... Assassin's Creed Rogue. Um, now, this Assassin's Creed movie... Very interesting. Uh, it was great. And one of the few movies that I can say genu genuinely makes me want to see a sequel. That being said, I don't say that about any movies. Uh, great action sequences, uh, terrific, like, probably some of the best action sequences I've seen in a while. Uh, and as far as, like, the parkour, like, type things that Assassin's Creed is kind of known for, Ooh, very well done. Uh, the animus was great. And part of the thing that, like, I, when I was playing the video game, I always would, like, forget that you're in an animus. And the movie was able to, like, very seamlessly have you remember that the main character is in present day, whereas his ancestor is in the end, like, is an animus figure. And then the bleeding effect, where, um, you see hallucinations after being in the animus, they did that really well. Um, the whole Abstergo and, um, Templars versus the Assassin's Creed, um, like, Brotherhood was very well done. Uh, to be honest, it was just a really great movie. Um, I definitely suggest seeing it. Like, hands down, it was really good. Really, really good. Um, I mean, and like, the different weapons and being able to use them and how, like, you get the muscle memory from, like, your assassin, like, from being in the anime. They did all that really well. Like, honestly, it was just a really great movie. Uh, the dialogue sequences were really good. Um, and I think they had, like, just enough dialogue and action where it wasn't like, oh, there's so much action, but there's zero dialogue. Um, and it wasn't also, like, there's so much dialogue, but there's no action. It was, like, really well done. Um, and, like, normally I see movies from the video games, the fact that they turned a video game into a movie, I thought, mm, you know, what's this going to be like? I, I think they did it really well. There are some things that, like, didn't really, I guess, translate to, like, what they wanted, like, in the video games, big parts of it, especially later on, but, like, in the beginning, it's, like, pickpocketing and, like, sneaking around and doing stuff like that. Uh, that wasn't so much in there, um, but I can see why. And then the leap of faith. That was pretty good. Um, the ending does leave a little to be desired, but it, like, it leaves off at a place where, like, okay, you're good right there where you are, or you can be like, okay, this makes, like, for me, this is how it was for me, was that I want to see another Assassin's Creed movie, and it's not like the, it's not, uh, the main Desmond, it's not Desmond, it's like a whole new person, so it's like someone like different, not from the video games, or at least not one that I can remember. Um, so it's definitely very interesting. And I really want to see if they do make this into a franchise, or if it's just going to be a solo movie. Either way, great movie. And um, if you did like this video, go ahead, smash that thumbs up button. If you are enjoying the Pokemon Go series, uh, please subscribe. And uh, as always, God bless, and see you next time for another episode of Pokemon Go.